So today I'm going to explain to you how you can take advantage of cheat reps while you are working out. Cheat reps have a bad reputation for obvious and valid reasons, right? It is not good because you are using momentum, you are lifting heavier weights than you can handle essentially, and you are leaving gains at the table because your muscles are not fully involved, using other muscle groups, and the mind-muscle connection is not quite where it should be. So in based on that, you should never, u- never use or do cheat reps, but there's one way where you can actually take advantage of them. Now, when it comes to working out, you have to make sure your form is perfect. You are squeezing, you are contracting, you are doing a controlled repetition, and instead of focusing on the reps and the weight, you leave your ego at the door and you maximize the mind-muscle connection. And you do this by just lifting with good form. You should always aspire to do this. But one way to push yourself beyond failure is by doing a drop set, for example, right? So let's say you've been lifting for a long time and you're trying to maximize your muscle gain and, and push yourself even beyond failure. What you can't do is do a drop set. So for instance, let's say you do 80 kg on the bench press, you get nine reps, the ninth just about goes up and instead of you taking a three, four minute rest before starting your second set, you do a set instantly by lowering the weight to 60 kg and you do maybe five, six reps of that. That is a drop set. Another form of a drop set, a bit less popular, is by actually doing some cheat reps. This is something doesn't get something that doesn't get talked about enough. So let's say you are doing curls. You do a couple of reps with 16 kg dumbbells and you get to the point where you can't do any more. Again, you can put the dumbbells down and say, well, I've done everything. I push myself to failure. But to maximize your muscle growth and to push yourself even beyond that, you could do some cheat reps. In this scenario, doing cheat reps is actually not bad because you've already done the good reps. Your contraction, your squeezing, everything has been right. Your mind-muscle connection was there, but you're pushing yourself beyond that by doing a couple of cheat reps. In this scenario, it's good. It's a way of pushing yourself beyond failure. By you doing this, you do get to maximize your muscle growth. And I mean, after a while, if you've been lifting for a long time, five, six plus years, you have to find ways to push yourself beyond failure because the muscle growth is not going to be as fast as it has been perhaps when you started working out. So one way of doing this is by a drop set. And another way of doing this is by doing cheat reps after you've done your good reps. So what I'm going to do in this video, I have recorded myself doing a back and bicep workout where I implemented this exact principle. All it is, is me doing lat pull downs, curls, some rows, And basically showing you how after doing a couple of good reps to the point where I can't do any more of those good reps, you can push yourself beyond that by actually doing some cheat reps. And it's very, very beneficial. I feel like it doesn't get talked about enough. People say, if you do cheat reps, that's bad. You shouldn't be doing it. Mm, There is a place for it. You shouldn't start off with cheat reps. Many people do this. Many people instantly start, well, basically their ego gets in the way and they lift weight that is too heavy for them. When they do that, that is not good because you're leaving gains at the table. But if you have done your good reps, your mind-muscle connection is there and you're looking to push yourself beyond failure, then you can do a couple of cheat reps. So the rest of this video is going to be me just demonstrating that with a back and biceps workout with a couple of different exercises. You can apply this to chest workouts as well, to legs, everything. But in this scenario, I'll show you in a back and bicep workout. And hopefully you get what I mean and hopefully you get to implement this and I mean, the goal of this is for you to get some value and hopefully increase the amount of muscle that you are gaining.